Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 5. And this is the first time in a while that I'm doing this. Uh, I had a nice stock of games set up there and I've been busy with work and other things. So now I need to record some more videos, but of course, um, it's been a good like week and a half since I've played. We'll see what I can do and have, if I can avoid screwing up too much. Let's check out. Okay, we have uh, some elf troops here. Lots of mana. As I recall, I took the destructive magic school. I have been following in the comments, but I want to see what I have on me. And it's probably good for reference, too, just because the videos are long. Um, so these are my skills. Better draw this time than I did in the previous campaign. Although Godric was alright, I suppose. Okay, so we've got Battle Frenzy, Excruciating Strike, Power of Speed. That's actually pretty useful. Perhaps not critical at this point, but still pretty useful, as a matter of fact. Uh, swift Gating is nice. Uh, might as well pick that up. And obviously the two War Machines. And unfortunately I got Master of Ice. I think Master of Fire is better for a Demon Lord. <laughs> but, uh, yeah... I took that so late that beggars can't be choosers, I guess. And as I pointed out, I'm probably going to get away with it anyway. Uh, do I really want to step off? I think I have enough for a blacksmith and to buy war machines. Which means I really shouldn't veer off the path. See, this map, the, uh, the ship, is also considered by many to be a difficult map. And certainly on heroic it can be. However... Um, similar to the Conquest, which is considered the hardest map in this campaign by many, um, you can make the map much easier on yourself by rushing it out. And I'm not going to get a lot of experience from Pixies, so... Yeah, and other heroes can pick up the random stuff, it's fine. This is really, um, really just a rush game here. I lost 28 sprites to 40 druids, huh? It's actually less than I was expecting. And Agriel didn't even cast a spell once in my army again? Oh, I, I probably just went first or something, or before most of them. Blade Dancer shouldn't be hard, and flagging a mine is, yeah, worth my time. Any spells cast yet? Nope. I believe... Uh, my spells are not amazing. What are my stats at now? I do have 11 spell power, which is kind of junky for a destructive magic build. But I think I would still do a reasonable amount of damage with a lot of my attacks, especially if I get a booster like the Icicle thing. Oh, it doesn't tell me how much damage it does here. Well, it's going to do a lot, <laughs> but not as much as it sh would if I had like an optimized build for it. Anyway, uh, first turn. We are almost to the first town, so we're just going to take that when we can. Uh, I guess I can get the HUD of the Magi. Those things are never fun because they take like seven or eight million years. Although it's not going to be as bad as that one on, what was it, playing with fire back in Heroes 3. Oh my gosh. Ah, yes. Yeah, good luck on your first playthrough, knowing exactly where to go to reach that. <laughs> well, I think that's what this is supposed to be for, so we're going to go here. Yeah, so you do have some direction as to, uh, or some idea what direction you need to go. This is also showing you the location of some elf cities, as well as the said demon outpost. This is the only map in this entire campaign, spoiler alert, that actually lets you fully build up a demon city. <laughs> and to that, I have face palms. That is questionable at best. <laughs> anyway, off we go. We have a hero to kill. Can I do better than that? Maybe. Maybe I'll do worse. I have a few times in this Let's Play, apparently. 
Although one of them, or at least I think one of them was a, a castle siege. And as we all know, castle sieges have a magical property in the quick combat. It doesn't factor them somehow correctly, so... I, I think I should be given a pass in that circumstance, at least. I can cast a spell, right? Yeah, druids, and druid elders, and isn't master hunters. Okay, what actually goes before? The regular hunters? Yeah, it's weird with initiative in this game. It's actually a range, so it's somewhat RNG based. Let's, um, wasp swarm the people who are going first. Maybe I can knock their initiative behind that of my hero. No. I, I don't remember if it's wasp swarm that does that or something else. But, I... Do I have Circle of Winter? I don't know that I do. I have Armageddon. Because <laughs> that would be a great idea. Blast myself to smithereens. Okay, who has a reasonably sized stack that I could get rid of? I think I can take those out with my unicorns. So... I... Hmm. The thing is, these guys will attack and kill somebody. I need to know what my magic is. I should have checked more carefully. Because if I can one-shot this cluster of three, I really want to get rid of these guys. So they don't do anything. In fact, let's risk it. Alright. Because I know I built my talent up reasonably well. Oh, chain lightning. Fireball. 240 damage on the fireball. 240, really? Oh, that's right. They're not elemental. But I didn't know fireball and meteor shower did the same amount of damage in this game. Yeah, see, this stuff's a little on the weak side. Although, yeah, see, like a basic spell like Ice Bolt is really comparable because I have the mastery in it. How much uh, health do these guys have? So actually, Fireball would rip a chunk out of them. Hmm. Uh, it's a hero special. He's dead. Phantom Forces. The only dark magic I have is slow. Alright. Chain lightning does hurt a little bit more. And... Yeah, it would definitely hit them. Maybe that's my best bet. Well, no, because it decreases. I think I should just stick with a good old fireball and not Armageddon myself to complete oblivion. Uh, so I'll kill 17 of them. Wow. Yeah, actually, that's pretty uh, potent stuff. Man, I can't wait till I actually have a good fireball. Holy cow. And, of course, they get morale. I don't know sense in letting these kill my shooters. And since... Yeah, let's get rid of some more of them. Man, I'm losing quite a few pixies. Now, in this circumstance... Yeah, my unicorn moves ahead of them, so... Oh, but they resist! I don't think I want to risk that. But it hurts so much more! <laughs> No! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I couldn't help it, I had to try. <laughs> ah, boo! Well, at the expense of pixies, I lost more ranged troops, or less ranged troops. Okay. Whatever. Oh, I have a blacksmith here already. Good. Buy it all. I think this town is somewhat limited in terms of how much you can build it up, too. And I know you can't build a tavern here. 
Do I even bother? Well, a marketplace wouldn't hurt, and it will give me gold elsewhere, so that's alright. But yeah, we don't want to dally on this map, so I'm just going to continue straight to the next area. And I really don't want to deal with shooters that can ruin my day. I'll probably clear these mines. Yeah. Since it's not going to take me off too much. And I can just come back and flag him and pick it up with the secondary hero. I do have expert logistics, so I should be able to get to the demon town on the first week. If I screw up, I might have to restart, though. Oh, they're joining me. Even better. Witch hut. Um, it's doubtful that'll do anything significant. Alright, got a horde of master hunters. I'm just going to do a run by on them, they'll attack me and I'll lose nothing apparently and continue on my way. Remember, <laughs> viewers, heroic difficulty. <laughs> Quick combat for the win. Oh, I know it's around here somewhere. Ah, Druid Elders. You can suck one. Man, oh man. <laughs> oh, I guess I nuked the crap out of them, or the AI did, namely. And since... does this cost wood? No. I might as well improve my income. It'll help me build up other towns. This is gonna be tight. I really have three more days. And if I can't attack uh, the city on the 4th, then I'm in trouble. I don't think it's down here. I think it's still along the road. Like this way. Ah, yes. That's fine. Can I actually move out of the way? Even better. Okay. <laughs> Build a tavern. Which particular demon lord I hire? I don't think it matters a whole lot. Huh. In fact, let's hire both of them. Although I could have uh, done a little better with that. Whatever. Okay, so what we do now is because you lose troops from elves every turn that you have them end in Agriel's possession, we're just gonna do this! <laughs> but we're not gonna stop there. We're actually going to run this hero out in front of him so that we can pass this stuff around a little bit. Is this guarded? No. Okay, and you, my friend, should know your job. Yeah! You're gonna go flagging some stuff that's been cleared. And grabbing items. See, we're in good shape now. I have to say. Because this is our goal town, right here, that has the ship, Arrowell. I think it says, uh, that, yeah, Capture Arrowell, it's our goal town. And it's being guarded by a dude with a lot of troops, or whatever. Or I think there's a garrison blocking it or something. I don't remember. I think so. I'm pretty sure there's a garrison that's blocking it. And that that fight itself isn't nearly as hard. Whatever the case, um... That town won't attack you because the garrison is in the way, so <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Okay, yeah, you are my uh, <laughs> wood getter. <laughs> LOL. No. Um, take a run down this direction, and you do it too, Agriel. Agriel will probably catch up to him. I guess I don't need to pass troops around every turn, only if I'm actually fighting something. 
And in that case, only if I'm actually fighting something that Agriel can't just kill with the base demon troops and his uh, war machines. I did buy the war machines, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, man. The best laid plans just fall apart when you teleport Sandro into an area and you can't teleport him out of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh yeah, N was next. Anything here I really care about? I do want to build up the Mage Guild, but I want to hold off on that for now. Because I don't really need a ton of elf troops in this. And these buildings start to get really expensive in a hurry. So, I do want to be a smidge careful. Gems, huh? And it costs or Yeah, why not? We'll get some resources. I'm going to have multiple marketplaces anyway. So I might as well. I guess I could have cleared that stuff. It doesn't matter. What matters is taking away the only threat to you on this map, which is the computer attacking you. <laughs> so no big deal there. You actually could, if you wanted to, ignore orange and just use scouting heroes to push out in front of Agrail. And uh, yeah, if anything threatening looks like it's nearby, only then push troops over to him. And you would actually make it pretty far. I think you could win the map, completely ignoring the demon troops. Although, you would have to run right by Orange's base. So there's really no point in doing that. But you could. You could do that. I have the Magi. Yeah, see, Agriel's, uh he's a faster runner with that logistics ability. And yeah, now I'm starting to hurt for... All kinds of resources. I'll just build a marketplace. I don't care about troops that much. I have what I need to cause devastation, so... We'll be fine, as long as I can make it in time. That is a bit of a snag, isn't it? Do I need the elf troops at all? That's a valid question. Or should I be using my secondary hero here to cause havoc? What's guarding here? It's not a well-developed town either. Like, it doesn't have a, a walls or anything that would cause me problems. And there aren't that many uh, succubus, so... As long as there's nothing particularly grating blocking me... Lots of Hydras. You know, with the dogs, I might be able to just run back and forth and deal with them. <sighs> oh. Not them, though. They would be a little bit more complicated to deal with. Although with Demon Troops, their attacks don't bounce. So I might be able to do something to them, too. We're gonna give this a try. I don't remember how fast Hydra are, so I might need to, might need to re reload an autosave here if things go particularly awry. I know they're large creatures too, which might impact this. Well, okay, so they have seven initiative. I have 16 initiative. I should be fine. What the heck, game? Still losing nonsense? I'm gonna cast Armageddon, that's for sure. 480 as opposed to 189 but 480 really <laughs> I can do that with a fireball spell and that costs less than an implosion it just spreads across more enemies freezes enemies for 0.3 turns I don't want to mess with that. Um, I will save us some time, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that post is no joke. Okay. No one can reach down here, so we're just going to go here. Can I actually hit all of them with a meteor shower? 
Yes, I can. Oh. Well. I really don't understand how the computer lost this fight at all. I mean, this is silly. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> and yeah, I can probably make it without the succubus, uh, peoples. So the other question is, can I get another hero? The lab and her super ballista is interesting. I want something that can take care of the elves on the top side. But the lab's just a good hero overall. So we'll do it. And I'll see if I get anything better on the next go around. So. Yeah, actually. You come back. You come down. I'm going to pass troops to Deleb and uh, see if I can't push. Because uh, uh, th these troops should help out enough to deal with the. Really? Plus the flaming ballista. So we should be fine. I don't remember what else obstructs me on this path, though. Pack of Treants. Plus, I might be overestimating the troops themselves. It's a distinct possibility. Well, all the same, I can give it a go. I mean, worst comes to worst, I can just bring Agriel up and go do some spankings. Green's been a bad boy. No Tony Romo. Speaking of Tony Romo, I have him in fantasy football despite being a Philadelphia Eagles fan. And yes, that makes me feel dirty. Thank you for asking. But I also picked up like Julius Thomas and started him on Thursday. A largely no name tight end that just. Well, he went off. I <laughs> got a lot of points. <laughs> okay, what have we here? So basically, he doesn't even want to fight me in town. You know what? It's that pathetic? Yeah, you die. I'm not even gonna respect. I really don't want to lose the Hellhounds. It's important to me that I don't. Can I take Minotaurs like this? We're about to find out again, aren't we? Eight initiative against sixteen. Yeah, I'm faster. No doubts there. Oh, do these guys have more? No. Oh. Well. Okay. <laughs> I probably didn't even need to use a spell there. To be honest. Because, yeah, these guys still can't reach me. The ballista is still going to completely own face, so. <sighs> To take losses from these kinds of fights. Just silliness. Although I shouldn't dally. I need to make sure that I can reach the town. Because it will recruit a bunch of stuff. And that, yeah, that will get annoying. So, let's go take care of this now. No losses. And orange is out of the way. We'll see about that. I think I will use demons in this, though, because you don't get to use them much otherwise, so <laughs> might as well. Oh. What? Hmm. I can't afford her, though. But that's certainly interesting. The other thing I can do is I could just push for the last elf town, like right now. And I think I'll do that. Because that's basically map over. I'll get the military posts or whatever, the inferno military posts. Is there anything else around here? Okay. 
Alright. And so I'll just run this stuff up to Deleb. Swap units. Yeah, Deleb starts with good stuff, too. And look at that. She's got her Ballista in the ammo cart. And first aid tent's pretty junky, unless you get the first aid skill. Although she has war machines, doesn't she? I'm pretty sure she does. <laughs> She's advanced war machines. Yeah, this is why Deleb is... absurd. <laughs> Both of shots under Hero's Command achieves fireball effect. And it's plus one for every five levels. <laughs> But just the fact that you can get two shots on it, or later on, like, triple ballista or whatever, or boost it further, is what makes it really asinine. Can I just run by these, or do I have to fight them? Because a pack of ancient trans is kind of... not an ideal thing to fight. And ah, yes, you are just going to pick up loose things on the ground. I suppose I'll build up the demon town. What do I need still? Pretty much everything. Okay. <laughs> Not in too bad a shape here. We got the first major goal of the map out of the way. Which is to capture two elf towns and a demon town and before the demon town can build anything in its second week. Yes, of course I want to fight the guards. <sighs> it might force me to lose the dogs, but I don't think I should lose them. Yeah, because I can just shoot... yeah. Oh, but the pit fiends might attack them. Well, that's a complication. Spread out, at least. And yeah, we, we gotta get rid of the shooters. Which can't even counterattack. Oh, I could probably kill these guys outright. And I doubt I need implosion to accomplish it. Let's see here. Does this do it? Yeah, good enough. Unfortunately, that goes first. Oh, wow. <laughs> At least get out of the nightmares range. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can gate. <laughs> I've been fighting with non-demon troops so long. How am I supposed to remember that I can gate? <laughs> oh, no more imps, huh? That's all right. Ballista will take care of the rest of the damage here. Can I just kill them with a normal attack? Yeah. That's fine. If I need to, like, have survival fodder, I can just spread out the demons. Hmm. It wouldn't hurt to have some beef along, really. I'll buy up everything. Really? Can I do better? Let's find out. This is kind of a random assortment. I don't have any shooters or anything, so... Well, and aside from my death ballista... How far do these guys reach? It's not like I can really block them. Maybe a little. Okay, here's where I might actually need as much damage as I can get. <laughs> wow, that's an impressive effect. And probably overkill. But man, is that going to be fun to use. I can get sulfur later. 
You know what? I can accept that. Let's just keep going. I'm tired of fighting some of these battles. Now, I think it's over here. Well, actually, I can, um... Yeah, I think the last Delt Town is in that area. Not sure. Yeah, I might be going for a two-pronged attack at it at this point. I want to test out the caravans. People have been telling me in the comments how to get them, so... I might as well. Oh, that's right, there's stat-up buildings and whatnot, too. And, uh, I'm probably going to cut the quick combat spam of me just running around like a chicken with his head cut off, uh, trying to deal with that. Building up mage guilds and whatnot. Is if the threat on the map is off, there's no point. You know, it's not like... I don't know. <laughs> it's not like it's a particularly engaging experience to watch me, uh screw around. And I can't afford to build it. That's right, because I recruited. You know what? It's worth it, though. <laughs> Flattened fools with powerful destructive magic. It's actually not that powerful. Gem mine would be nice, but, uh, I'ma go this way. Blood Furies guarding an alchemist lab. No. We're not even putting you guys in. Get out of here. Use the strategy from the last map. Get near each other. Get near each other. Yes! Roasted alive. How am I doing on mana? I'm still alright. <laughs> Where am I supposed to? Oh, well, now I'm doing great. Entar guards. I mean, I could attack them just to pick on them. Let's do that. Yeah, free experience. I'm not going to get materially more powerful than I was at the start of this map, though. Just because once you're a really high level, you just, uh, it stops becoming as useful to get experience. There's diminishing returns. And that's also why I don't want to clear too much from my other heroes, though, because they don't carry over. Ah, oh, there's a subterranean gate. I'm not sure where that goes. Might as well explore, though. Oh. Swarm of war dancers. That direction is off limits now. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna save up for the town hall. And what were you doing? Just explore some more, I guess. Oh, I could have gone for the observation tower. Oh, I actually could have gone straight for the demon base, interestingly. Did not realize that. I don't know, there's a road on a map, and it's the start of the map. It just makes sense to follow the road. <laughs> Why wouldn't I follow the road? I think this is the right way. Get lost in the tunnel network. Isn't it? What's with the garrison? That's not cool. And what are you? What's this way going? All right, let's build some money making. This map is pretty doable as long as you rush, because then you can build up elf troops to your heart's content and stuff them on any hero you want until you get near anything you want to fight that's significant and then after you've done that well you're good you can switch them over onto Agriel and fight with elf troops all time I just need more money it would help if I grabbed all those treasure chests wouldn't it that's interesting 
But, uh, this is a major hero fight, so let's actually play it. Watch me lose. Uh, yeah, you guys are slow, so you need to be towards the middle. And I'm actually not looking to uh, charge the field here. I'm kind of depending on my spells and war machines. Yeah, of course. Anything I do in terms of moving forward would probably be a mistake. Wait, so... Yeah, let's just... Just... Keep here or something. It doesn't really matter where you gate. This stuff's coming for me anyway. Oh, really? <sighs> Shoot. I'll just get the demons out of the way. Or I could lose all of my dogs. Alright, that's certainly interesting. Blade dancers... I can probably finish things that survive with... the ballista. Oh yeah. Just, just flatten everything. <laughs> Two to four, just two, but no retaliation. The blade dancers got the resistance, did they? Geez, maybe I should just attack them. Yeah, it works for me, I guess. And yeah, I can get rid of the blade dancers, but if I move, I'm going to be in range of the trance, really? Since when were they that fast? Whatever. It's not like they can reach me otherwise. Ow. It stings. And I don't really care about these guys much, so they can just do whatever. Good, good. You... What? We're on different sides. Are they like omnidirectional attackers or something? Oh. That's interesting. Just block, I guess. Hmm. I can probably minimize damage. Do I need to use implosion? Can I use something a little bit less excessive? No. If I had more spell power, I could use something less excessive, but we're just gonna get a pretty spell effect. I'm pretty sure I can hit without hitting myself, yes. So that didn't end well at all. Mostly because of the frickin' sprites and where I positioned myself against them. Elemental Wasteband, what does it do? We have secured an artifact, congratulations! <laughs> Plus four spell power with an elemental spell. Oh, he actually took the garrison with him. What a friggin' jerk. <laughs> I wish I could do that in maps where the game gives us garrisons. Okay, so it looks like we got, like, some kind of dragon or phoenix there. That can't be right. The, yeah, there's no way the enemy fought his way through that. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, hey, Gilrian. <laughs> You're familiar. Back for more. How am I on mana? I'm good, but I'll take some more since it's here. Okay then, so... The lab is not being exceptionally useful here. A pack of wraiths, why not? What's in her army now? Yeah, she lost a lot. I don't care though. 
I think this map is just about won, impressively. And then it's just going to be a matter of building up my troops, I suppose. Um... Yeah, burning stables are nice. Make some burning stables. What about these? They're very wood dependent, but I could still build them up. Get some more gold. I don't want to use too many precious precious metals because they're uh, going to go into mage guilds. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Aside from my... Oh. Well, that's an uncomfortable proximity. What do you have on you? No, where's the hero? Basically nothing. Well, to lab, see what you can do. Because we just about took care of the threats otherwise. Oh, this isn't even defended, really. Yeah, okay. Nice and simple. Man. <laughs> Nothing's built. <laughs> I guess that's what you get when you rush so quickly, though. So, okay, what's in my army still? I can creep pretty decently with this. And so I'm just going to start killing things, although I don't think I can kill a pack of phoenix. Nor is it really a pressing need to do so. But my point is I can run someone else around to get flag all the mines. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to stop off the video here, viewers. If anything interesting happens or comes up, I will start it up again and continue the map. But until then, I'll see you next time for the conclusion of the ship. Me and team signing off.